Everybody, welcome back to the video back because we're in another video and we're back in my restaurant for the first time in a long time. We're going over a brand new layout because the game has almost 100,000 players. There's probably tons of new players who want some layouts. So this is a pretty good layout. It's not the best layout. I think I have some better layouts on my channel than this one, but it's still a pretty decent one. So it's one of the better ones, I think. Um, I don't know. This is a little more updated than some of my other ones. So this could be the best one. I don't know. I haven't tested it enough. So let you guys know in the comments down below. I don't know how much cash it makes and stuff like that. I just heard it's good and a friend of mine gave it to me. So we're going over it. Um, three things I want to say before we go over it. Number uh, one, this is for the larger like uh, restaurant game pass. So if you don't have it, you could like trim off the sidewall of everything right here and maybe put like, you know, Christmas tree here instead and then just don't have this extra row of tables here you could do that I don't know whatever I'm in the ground what is happening game broken um but oh, what was I guess oh yeah um so in here I'm gonna be using the royal corrupt corrupt royal set but it doesn't matter you don't have to use that you could be using you know beach tables and chairs and you could use either um gingerbread tables and chairs you could be using the pirate table and chairs to be the royal it could be tiki um just try to use ones that are four and stay away from ones that are only two so like penthouse gamer counters cheap tables, stuff like that this is i'd suggest staying away from that so you can have four people come in at a time which is the best money making strategy so let's go over this layout so if we come over here in the corner, we're going to have, oh gosh, so many order stands. We're going to have six dishwashers through the back right here. And then you're going to want to come over here and then you're going to want to create like a C, like one, two away from the wall, or one away. I don't know if you want to call it, but right here in this point, you need to create like a little C right here, as you can see, and then put like one on top and then one of these machines right here. And then... We're going to put four stoves and then another stove in this spot. So you should have a nice little rectangle here full of stuff. And then you want three space right here and then put three, three stoves like here. So you should have six right in front of the three bits and then three right under here. And they should all be like somewhat facing in this direction because this is where all your chefs and stuff is going to be standing is right here. And they that should be where they actually be standing. Now, if we start in this corner over here, put a table, put four chairs right here one away put another table put four chairs also feel free to pause the video anytime um and then at the end of this table put one order sand and then put a christmas tree on the end of all the chairs here if we come over here then um there should put one plant one filler it doesn't have to be a plant just something it could be i don't know it could be balloons, it could be a dead plant, it could be a play button, it could be a coffin, it could be a pumpkin, it could be a haunted pumpkin, it could be a jewelry case, it could be a money sedge, anything that takes up one space that won't attract any customers, aka decorations. Don't do anything like a balloon machine, which they'll actually stop, or the arcane, arcade paint machine, big paintball or whatever. You also then want to put a tree here, and then um, here. I'm going to like stay away from going down that direction because it's a little confusing. Here you have one, two tables. On this one, just be two by two normal. But here you're going to want to put two on this side, one here on the left, and one at the end. And then you just want two normal tables right here. Then a luxury order sand, I mean silver tray right here in the corner, like the empty space. And you want a tree and then put two fillers right here. And then right away from those two fillers, you want to put a table and four chairs are on the outside. And then you want to put a silver tray right here in this like corner diagonal from this filler right here. And then you want to leave two space right here for people and then put a Christmas tree right here. Then add your table and your four chairs. There should be a space from right here in this corner where I'm standing right now where you want to you know, put those four chairs. It'll just be like a normal, you know, table, four chairs on the sides. We'll come over here diagonal to this table that I'm standing on right now you want to create a table right here and we'll have one two three four chairs like that this way you know you still have this space here and then right here you'll have one two three four and you want one empty space right here next diagonal to the table that you just placed right here and then on the bottom side closest to the door of the table you want to put one of these luxury silver trays and I'm pretty sure that is it. Also, I don't remember if I pointed this one out. There's going to be this little empty space that you want to put one right here. Um, 
I'm gonna put it on screen if you guys just wanna, you know, follow that along and just pause and just follow that. So this is, that's all you really have to do. But that's the layout. I think I went over everything. I might have missed part of this. Um, I already did record this once, but then I, but I messed up because I'm actually using a different recording software. So hopefully this video will be in like, you know, better, you know, resolution or whatever the thing he's called. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video will look a lot nicer, but that should be everything for floor one. And then, you know, the rest of your place from here over, just fill with like plants. It could be anything. It could be your diamond play button, gold coffins, your haunted statue, statues. Could be anything. It could be the market crash. That, no, I don't want market crash, which maybe we'll get another one of these because the market right now is in fact crashed. Um, if I go to floor two, this will be the setup that you want to put on floor two through 10. Um, don't mind this. I placed it there to take a thumbnail picture for a thumbnail. Okay. So you want three tables right here, just off from the wall. One, two, three, and then put the chairs, you know, just normal. And then one over set of tables. You want to put one chair here, two like normal, and then one closest to the wall. And then you want to leave the space here open and then add a Christmas tree in this, like right behind this chair that you placed right here. And then you have a table here, which should be kind of, you know, diagonal to this one chair that I'm standing on. Place it diagonal and then place two chairs like closest to this teleporter. Then one close to the wall and then close and then one closest to the middle. And then diagonal to this chair that you just placed that's close to the middle. Place another table, which should be like the right next to the Christmas tree. Then the closest to the wall, place a chair, then place, you know, close to the teleporter in this little gap between the Christmas tree in the middle place, you know, a chair and then place two more chairs normal. This should create a nice, pretty even square. I don't know if it's exactly even. And then there should be one empty space right here, which you'll just place, you know, your luxury orders now. And then there should be one empty space. And then around here, I deleted it for the thumbnail, but take your, what is it? What, um, whatever, you know, you got your, where are they? Oh my gosh. Your plants and then just like fill in and just fill in the rest of this and entire place you don't know, just fill it all in and boom and that will be what will be on floor two through ten aka all the floors that you have doesn't have to be exactly ten and let's open this thing up and then you'll see the customers coming in and it is a pretty good layout because how they do it is they will walk straight here and then they'll take this nice even path straight and then they will actually teleport right here which is actually really cool instead of going all the way to the teleporter which will actually save a lot of time and overall this layout i think is really good i don't know if it's the best it's definitely not the best layout right best layout right now i'm trying to get one of orion's better layouts like not his newest one because that's always like you know private but one of his you know more new ones should hopefully i'll be coming out with a video on that soon if you guys do want to see that but yeah that's going to be it for today's video if you guys do enjoy make sure you smash like and subscribe bell see your video make sure you join the discord because we're getting so close to 1000 members but yeah oh wait i just remembered i meant to say three things at the beginning of the video and i never said the third one that was meant to be the third one join the discord that was the third point that i wanted to say at the beginning <laughs> i forgot to do that join the discord link in the description close to 1000 members have i said that already <laughs> but peace out guys